In the heart of the small town of Urington now stands a state of the art high tech resource center. It's entirely devoted to local teens. The Boys and Girls Club of Mason Valley officially opened their center in December. Andy Guevara takes us inside. I tell them we're behind you, Paris. Teenagers that are engaged, supervised, and dare we say, happy. I would say it's my second home, but it's kind of more like my first home because I feel like I spend more time here at this Boys and Girls Club than I do actually at home. Technology abounds from a game center to virtual reality, computers for homework, maybe, and charging ports, all at no cost to the kids or their families. This brand new $2 million building was made possible by some very generous donors. We ended up with a, a 7,500 square foot, two-story teen center in the heart of Urington. The teens come because it's fun, but the club also helps them learn. With after school programs for education, tutoring, those kinds of things. So we're seeing those kids come up and, and improve their education, graduating from high school. And the opportunities that they have to be involved in things that otherwise may not be uh, available to me or affordable. When the recession wiped out government funded resources in northern Nevada's already impoverished rural towns, it was the Boys and Girls Clubs that stepped in. So they took over all those programs, which has reduced our youth crime, um, re reduces the caseload for juvenile probation. They're supervised, they're, but they're at ease and at home. And if they need help or support, they know that they have the staff here. Support that they provide year round. During the summer, we're providing breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks to the kids who are here. At the end of the school year, at the end of their school day, we're providing dinner. The center in Urington serves 50 to 60 teens every day during the school year. It's really important to my heart, the Boys and Girls Club is. Covering the story, Andy Guevara, 2 News.